So while we were wondering whether the electricity would still be on this week, the government went ahead and pulled a fast one on us. Now, I don't even know if we should call it a fast one anymore since basically it involves the government investigating itself so long that we forgot what the whole thing was about in the first place. Now, do you guys remember the president's owners? Sorry, sorry, the Guptas. I mean, I mean, his good friends. Remember when they landed at our main military base uh, uh, to go to a wedding in Sun City? Do you guys remember? Do you remember how the whole country went mad? Now that was 2013. Remember that half of our cabinet came out and told us definitely for sure, under no circumstance did our beloved number one have anything to do with this landing at all. Now it's 2015. What has happened to the charges against the people that the government claimed were guilty? of this horrific crime against the security of the Republic of South Africa. All charges have been dropped against two officers charged in the so-called Gupta Gate scandal. So after two years, the charges have been dropped and now those guys are suing the government. And guess who's paying South Africa? Guess who is paying? Yes, all of us, the taxpayer, because no politician ever, ever, ever takes responsibility. Not even number one, number one, never. Are you guys aware that the person that the government blames for causing most of this drama, ex-chief of protocol, Bruce Kolwane, was first demoted uh, for his involvement in the Gupta kit and then miraculously came back and got a tasty job as the ambassador to the Netherlands? It's not punishment at all to be sent to Amsterdam as the ambassador. Legalized prostitution, legalized marijuana, honeycomb for days. I think, bra Bruce is having the time of his life just for helping out his friend, number one. It's like, it's, like, it's, it's like punishing a child by sending him to Disneyland. You've been bad. Go watch Mickey Mouse. So obviously our government thinks we're very stupid. Hmm? They think we're like children. They think we've forgotten about this whole thing. No one is going to get punished. And everyone can just move on like nothing. But we haven't forgotten. Hmm? This is a classic example of the blame game. Imagine if you just handle your situation in your everyday life like the government handles the Gupta Gate. 